guys, it's Julia, and today I'm going to be doing um, an original book tag. I'm going to be doing the Rainy Day book tag. For my first question, I'm going to be doing um, pick a book that makes you cry every time you read it. So for me, that is going to be Allegiant in the Divergent series. I loved that book and I cried at the end like a baby. And um, obviously I'm not going to tell you what happens because some people haven't read it and um, I don't want to spoil it for them but if you haven't read it read it because it's amazing and um, I loved it and I know that you will love it especially if you've liked the other ones so and even if you've seen the movie like the book is the book so definitely check it out question number two pick a book where the world is underwater or mostly around water I picked ice kissed it's in the um, Frostfire series, um, the Canaan Chronicles, and um, in this they are in a palace that is completely submerged in water, and the trolls in this can actually breathe underwater, they have gills, and I just loved this book, it was so good, this whole series was so good, um, and I loved that they did um, a kingdom that was basically underwater and people who could breathe underwater. It was a new twist for me and I really liked that. Question number three. Pick a book with a character with a damned soul. And so um, for that one I picked Black City which I just finished reading and in this um, the character Ash is a darkling. <clears throat> And um, in it he says, he talks about how he wouldn't go to heaven if heaven was a place because he is a damned soul. So I picked this book. I highly recommend it. I loved it. Question four. Pick a book that was big and comforting. So uh, for this book I picked any of the Twilight books. I don't care if anyone makes fun of me. I adored the Twilight series of books. Um, anytime that I need to be comforted, I turn to those books and I read them and they make me feel good. So I don't care what anybody says about it. Question number five. Pick a book that was turned into a movie that you love to watch on rainy days. For me, this book would be Divergent. I think they did a great job turning Divergent into a movie series. Um, you know, I think they didn't leave any important details out. They left out some details, but they were just the things that weren't that important. And the acting was incredible, and I just, I loved the movies, and I still watch the movie over and over again. It's not like one of those movies that I watched one time, was like, alright, I've seen it, I'm done. I watched Divergent, I probably watched it 15 times since it came out, which is really dorky, but I really loved it. Number so. six, pick a book that you couldn't get enough of the hot and steamy romance. Uh, for me, this is going to be the Selection series. I, I mean, seriously, Max in America, their romance was hot and steamy, especially because she's pulled two different ways between, um, you know, her childhood love and Maxon, and, and she's just, like, torn about it, and so, I don't know, it's just something about their romance really just blew my mind. I loved, 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 loved their romance and I think a lot of people did. A lot of people really enjoyed um, Maxton and loved Maxton and wished that Maxton was their boyfriend. Uh, he was such a gentleman and um, he was so sweet and I, this is one that I really hope gets made into a movie because I would love to not just see their romance in my head but actually see it on the screen. So I know that they did like a, um, they tried to make it into a show on CW, but then the pilot came out and it wasn't very popular, and then they remade it, and again, it wasn't very popular, but I think they're trying to make it into a big movie now, so we'll see if they do or not. I would be ecstatic if they did. Number seven, pick a book with a main character who has an amazing best friend. I picked Kiss of Deception for this one. Pauline was an amazing best friend. She was very supportive, and she took the main character back to her home place and helped her disguise herself and whenever she did things that made her mad she still loved her despite being mad at her and I 
If you haven't read this book and you like reading about friends and love, this one. Mm -hmm. I love this one. So check this one out if you haven't. Number eight, pick a book where the world is dirty and grimy in the way that you would imagine it. For me, I chose The Testing, which I don't have a physical copy of because again, I loaned it out. But um, this one, the world was destroyed and then they actually have to go back into the world and do these tests. And I haven't read it in a really long time, so I can't quite remember every detail of it, but definitely the world was disgusting in that book, and at least in the way that I imagined it. I didn't, um, I would not want to live in that world. Number nine, pick a book that had an out of this world or very enjoyable animal in it. So for this book, I picked The Winner's Curse. She has a horse in this book named Javelin, and he just seemed like a total teddy bear, like a horse that you would want to have. He um, always recognized her, he, you know, he would leave other people to come to her. She was his person and I really loved that. He was very loyal to her and would do anything for her. So um, Javelin would definitely be my pet of choice out of any book that I can choose. And finally, number 10, pick a book that had the sweetest ending. Um, so for that one, I picked The Winner's Curse, and I can't really say why without giving um, the ending away, so um, I'm not going to tell you. This is the third book in The Winner's Curse series. I loved this series, and I especially loved this book, and I loved the ending. Uh, there aren't a lot of books that end, and I'm just like, so sad that it ended, but I'm so happy that it ended the way that it ended. So um, I would definitely pick this book for um, the sweetest ending. Thanks for watching my original book tag of the Rainy Days book tag. I'm excited that you watched it. If you'd like to check me out on some of my other pages, I do have a blog and an Instagram. I'll put those in the description below. And um, thanks for tuning in.